What are you gonna do? I'm gonna ask cut six chick. And Chucky's coming out of hospital real soon. So try and know all you tell men about to Yeah, I mean, you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. I'm not justifying the brother's actions. I'm just saying I understand the rage behind it. Oh, he done whooped her yeah. ass. He's out here kicking puppies and everything. Dang. He is for real angry. Yeah. Like, look, look at them looking at him. They're like, like, we don't even yo, know you, you right now, my guy. You, you, you broke the code too, my guy. Like, no civilians, man. What's going on? It's your boy Sister with the Intel and Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, governor. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Super sale. Wow, a super surprise is what you need to call this. This is episode five. Listen, this is your first time watching with us, which it is for many of us. Make sure you check us out some of our previous episodes. This episode is called Rodney. Make sure you stay to the end because, you know, me and Rakai, we're going to chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth about the things we've enjoyed and, you know, the things we might be scratching our heads over. So without any further ado, let's get started. Oof. Doom, doom. We have, we have achieved, achieved the dooms. <laughs> Seems like it's been so long since we said that. I know, right? Man. Oh, okay. the stakes right. are we high. Back in the thick of it. Yeah. Right in the thick of it. It's crazy. And everybody glowing. Oh, see, man. Come on, man. Taser be yeah. so quick. I know. But that's that nervous energy. That's that... Uh oh, somebody about to the catch nervous, a stray? Nervous police energy. Whoa! Uh, you, know she, you know she hit that with that Jean Grey? Mm mm. Yeah, dummy! You just pulling triggers? Take the safe now. I'm about to say, don't, don't leave without your loot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. You're going to do all that. Cool. Taser, get on my nerves, man. Mm -hmm. Too hot headed, young man. And I wonder if his dude's like, like Tuesday. I wonder if he if he recognized Sabrina. You know what I'm saying? He tried to holler at the at the hospital. Oh, he sure did in episode one. It seemed four of our targets had come into contact. Tuesday made me laugh though. He's funny. <laughs> he is. He's a funny idiot. I'm just just hanging out. All right. That's painful to watch. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Huh? What do you need? What do you need, Mom? What do you need? Look, um. Mm. Hey, come on, come on! Nah. Yeah, just talk to me. Mm. You think maybe his his mom is getting powers? Oh no, I just assumed it's just the condition. I hear it's I hear it's extremely painful. Oh wait a minute, but no, she has full on sickle yeah, cell. Yeah, she's got she's like got... all these other people. They have the sickle cell marker, but they don't have it. Right. Right. So like instead she's, of actually she's got getting the it, dominant they got gene, whereas everybody else yeah. has the recessive gene, from my understanding. So they didn't get it. They got powers. Yeah. He almost was with the whole crew he needed. But I understand, Ooh. my dukes, you had to roll. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, that goes without saying. Everything else yeah. will be all right. It'll sort itself out. Oh, I that's forgot right. about Rodney's that's right. homeboy. They, that's right. They whooped the hell out of Spud. They sure did. They beat Spud like a pinata. Fuck you have to go there on your own. Cause he's he told to, to that man told him ten balls. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that'll kick the cock in such a step. When you see somebody get hurt. Look, look. Just having to run into you. Hey. Look how like I don't know you. Um, I, I saw you last night. You're like me. She's like, no, nah, that wasn't me. Yeah. I feel that. Not not, not of my job. <laughs> if there's anything you can do, you know, to mm. help him look out for him or whatever, mm. I'd appreciate you. I feel that. I promise you, we'll do everything we can. So he said, yeah, but I'm not really talking to everybody. I'm talking to you, like. Yeah. But I mean, I feel you. Yeah. Like, you like me. Talk to me. I do feel that. the way he, he was he like. He do that too much. Yeah, I think he just got to get that energy out. That's he just running around the city trying to get that energy out. I want eyes on him all day. Let's see if he leads us to the others. Would you like us to observe the others? Mm. Mm. And here's the one thing I'm, that 
is one about this because physics are still physics, right? Right. right. So I remember in the flash and other, you know what I'm saying? Like they was moving so fast, the friction, they yeah, couldn't wear like regular off. clothes. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, like what kind of shoes he got on? Cause. Who this? Is his mama? Rodney. Yeah, but yep. His mama. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I see. Hmm. You see the picture? Yeah, I feel like this should be some something a little darker to make him, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. You look good. Change your hair. Nice little house, too. Yeah. Come for lunch or something. I can have lunch now. Greg will be back with the kids soon. Greg. Greg, not your daddy, but Greg. Might as well just wait. You know how Greg feels. I'm Greg, <laughs> mum. Hmm. She traded in our son for a racist. Oh, I didn't even connect that dot. I can rent this place. You don't have to stay here anymore. I'm not a prisoner here, Rod. I love Greg. Doesn't it matter to you that he's a racist? Oh, there he said it. Then why is it he took Rachel and not me? Wow. Oh, that breaks my heart for oh, you. Oh, so. He had a he had a sister. I guess so. Uh, but the sister must have been by a different uh, father. Either that or by him. Mm -hmm. By, oh, by yes. Greg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they had two kids in that picture, so it's just been nice to see you a bit more, man. That's all. Oh man, I'm sorry, my guy. It's about to stay for me most nights, yeah. so I ain't been alone. I always knew you two would look after each other. Hmm. Can't stay here, Rod. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. Please, man. Just until he wakes up. I'm sorry, no. I'm like, yeah, I'd have yeah, to go yo. bright eyes on Greg. Yo. But it walked all up and down his ass. Dang, Greg got your mama ignoring mm -hmm. you. Mm. Yeah, she got that thing matized. That's what she got. Is she okay? Oh, sister. No, that's his girl, Dion. Okay. Well, she said mom. That's why I just, okay, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, and I get home. We, we need to talk. He's finally going to tell him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could help. Could it? I mean, that way she can maybe prepare with you. Come up with a plan together. Two heads is better than one. Why are you not opening the door? I know you're in there. I can hear the TV. See, remember when Rodney passed out because he used his powers? Yeah. And he needed to. I was wondering if there was going to be um, side effects for this. Yeah, if you just. There's got to be repercussions. Now, remember, he was in a car with the with the look, baby thug lives, right? Yeah, but he didn't see so him, now, though. Andre didn't see him, I don't think. No, no, but now he said, you know, he wants to talk to his dad about something. Look, he can hear his dad's phone. He knows his dad's in there, but his dad's not coming to the door. Don't forget. Yo, I don't even care. That face right there? Mm. That's a little boy right there who is determined to go make some bad damn decisions mm. right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, y'all got to check on Nanny. Ooh, that's your grandma. His grandma? That's what I'm assuming Nanny is. That's who, that's who else he's staying at, right? Man, how you beat up on an old woman, man? How you do that to an old woman? Hello? Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't have made no sound decisions. I could tell you that off top. I would have made some dumb decisions after seeing that. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling much better. Thank you, Matron. Great. She about to get fired. Oh, because she almost killed that old lady. All the doctors constantly request you, and all the patients love you. Well, in the future, if something's happened outside of work, you're not feeling up to it. In the future? Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, so she's not getting fired. Mm today we'd like to offer you the position of senior nurse she got wait a minute she got promoted wow 
Way to raise the stakes, right. though, because you know she's going to mess that up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, this is Lieutenant right. or something. His little shorties. I don't know, but he he got two Slims in two the car to come pick him up. Two, two. I've already told you, Miss. My shop ain't been open, and you know how much money I'm losing. I don't give a fuck about your money. What you think was going to happen? <laughs> yeah. What you think this you is? You smashing the villain. What you think gonna happen? <laughs> and he took back the watch. Mm. He's a whole abuser. I mean, but his name is crazy. So yeah, I mean, I mean like for this, real. Like, can we talk about that? At this that? point, you signed up. For <laughs> he strangled me. He did what? Sick. I'm tired of guys thinking they can put their hands on me whenever they please. Oh, she about to do something Fucking silly. Sick of it. Charlene, just. Mmm, you just got promoted. Hey, where you at? She out here in her robe with a butcher knife. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna tell Dion everything when I get back home. Yes. You sure you wanna do that? Yes. Yeah. She deserves to know. Yeah, that's the best way to be. He needs be. some help, shoot. You know Even just for that. Like, help me to help keep you alive. Mm -hmm. Help me help you. <laughs> you. That's what I'm saying. You know, I got all these powers. There's all these things I can do. But what good are they? I'm not gonna do it. Huh? Is that the spot where she's gonna be? Mm -hmm. Yep. My dear Jasmine just she touched me, and her eyes lit up. And no man, I have secrets on the more. Oh, he took it. It took it away. She can heal. When are you going to be open? Open the door. He said, I need my Jamaican beef patties. Yeah. <laughs> so she's a healer. Okay. Okay. Every party needs one. Mm-hmm. And I'm scared. Yeah, and I told you to leave it alone. I just told you to leave it alone. No, you didn't. You barked an order at me and expected me to sit like I'm some kind of dog. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she has a point. Yeah. She's right. No more secrets. Okay. When I went to the future. Oh, come on. If you're expecting no, someone. It's, it's probably just a person. Let me just get rid no, of them. No, DJ, just wait. I'll just get rid of them. Uh, something to happen. I can feel it. That's Rodney? Is that Rodney? Yeah, it sounds like him. I'll go to some private. He ain't gonna tell her. Something happened to her and he ain't gonna be able to tell her. I could feel it. Wait here. She ain't gonna try to hear none of that right now. Yeah. <sighs> because you know what? Mm -hmm. He lied and told her he was gonna mm -hmm. stop looking for them. Mm-hmm. All these people on your list, while well, I've just been sitting here thinking that you're safe at work. Nigga, just blurt it out. Excuse me. Brother, just blurt it out. <laughs> Shoot, man. You're like less of an idiot. I've got to go with Rodney. So he need, they need you're going to finish this conversation. Oh! Are you joking? Listen, D. When I get back, I promise you. I will explain everything. <laughs> uh, promise, like you uh, promised before. Uh, it's a day late and a, it's a, day day late and a dollar, dollar short. short. <laughs> Michael, please. She mess around and die while he's gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. He never got to tell her to be on the, you know what I'm saying? Like, she could have her guard up. She could be like, you know. It could be a fixed time point, too. You know how those are. They're just anchor points. They just, no matter what you do, it's going to happen. So, like, like uh, into the Spider-Verse, like it's a, uh, it's, what do what they call it? A, um, a canon event. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I can't even imagine what's on his mind now. He just he whooped his grandma. Yeah, like, now, from here on out, uh, I, I get, I understand his rage now. I feel that. 
Cause yeah, like yeah. right now, I mean, he didn't done a whole lot of dumb shit. Like you know, crazy told him, mm. "How you gonna come at the king and miss? Mm. Boy, you done messed up." Go to the other bandos. He has to be at one of them. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, he wouldn't be there. He knows he crossed the line. Yeah, yeah. No civilians, man. Come on, man. Even in the worst gangster movies, that's that's the golden rule. All right, that's our girl. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna ask her six chick. And Chucky's coming out of hospital real soon. So try and know all you tell men about to Yeah, I mean, I you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. <laughs> he unhinged at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So they attack my grandma. Yeah. Like everybody can That's get it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not justifying the brother's actions. I'm just saying I understand the rage behind it. Uh oh, he done whooped her yeah. ass. He's out here kicking puppies and everything. Dang. He is for real angry. Yeah. Like, look, look at them looking at him. They're like, like, we don't yo, know you, you right now, my guy. You, you, you broke the code too, my guy. Like, no civilians, man. Yeah. <laughs> but she wasn't a civilian, though. Well, then the game is the game. The game is the game. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the way she set them up to be killed. A jump, you know what I'm saying? And now his grandmama, yeah. she lucky she alive. Yeah. Because he could have for real, you know what I'm saying, rolled up on her and rock a bye, baby. Nah, I don't know. No one by that name. Ah, that's a true, true homie. He's like, nah, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> never heard of that dude. Yeah. All right, give me your number, and then I'll just give it to him when I see right, shit. Fucking don't know who he is no, then, yeah? His number. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just so you know. See, we, like, he don't know what Michael can, can do. This. Yeah. Yeah. He don't even know what Michael can do. He's like, yeah, these hands can get loose. Yeah. Sam. <laughs> so, Told you. Does he live local? Yeah. Yeah? What's his address? Hello, man. Look, I can't. Yeah, I feel that. Nah. No, man. That's my homie. I'm not giving you his address. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Bro, I swear on my life, man. I'll get him to phone you. Can I go now? Hurry up. Hey, Rakai, I know you're my homie, man. Don't, don't put me in no bad position like that, my guy. <laughs> well, I got folks waiting outside my job for me. <laughs> Where Rakai? <laughs> I never heard of him. What are you talking about? But please stop showing up at my job. <laughs> like, we seen the videos. Uh oh, look, look at this. Oh. Shaw, where are you? Kidnapped. Uh, crazy and them done took her. Yep. Kidnapped. I mean, she gonna roll up on crazy and who knows who else he had in the car with him. They probably don't even have black people running. You see that yard over there? That's crazy's mom's yard. Come on, don't Damn. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so you not thinking? You run up in there, smack her about till she tell us where he is. Come on, man. Look, Scream is on it. Right? Thank you. Don't do that. What? You fucking all right, bro? She lined us up, bro. That's different. Better yeah, the game is the game. Yeah, she ain't got no problem. Well, I am not troubling, man. Mom. Better stay in the car, then. I'm staying as well, fam. I can't lie. Mom's are off limits, fam. That part. Yeah, he said, but grannies ain't. All we have to do is wait. <laughs> like, in the, he man, said, it's old it's dog, it's, old yeah. people, kids. I don't care. Anybody yeah. can get it. He said, like, I don't care who's out who's there. Who's out there? <laughs> because you've got the exact same information I've got. So, what's your genius plan? All right, I'm just joking. No, because I'm tired of everyone expecting me to have all the answers. All right, I'm a delivery driver, not fucking in my fan. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. The hell you think I am? James Bond? <laughs> shit, shit, I drop off packages. This episode has kept it 100. I'll give it that. Like, <laughs> I feel every response. All right, we'll give him a bell. He's blocked me. Mm. 100 missed calls a day ain't for everyone, then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro, but you do lay it on a bit thick. Listen, uh, Mike, when we um, find the other three up. You got them, the, them, them Stan Smiths, Adidas, you know? Mm. You got on Stan Smith's, Ronnie got on Adidas. Look, 
Oh, I'm not being funny here, mate. Like, this ain't some stupid random superhero mission, yeah? This is me trying to stop the person closest to me from dying. Mm. Like, what the f do you think I'm trying to do? What is you trying to do, my boy? You ain't told nobody. Yeah. Listen, I ain't told you everything. Oh, let's, let's start with that. Let's... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meanwhile. Be Alphabet boys, steady watching. Or whatever the equivalent of that is over there. MI6, something. Get it, man. Why you been so obsessed with finding us all? Yeah, I think... I think MI5 is CIA. Yeah. And MI6 is... Look, look, everybody's uh, like, you ain't told her? <laughs> I was like, yeah. It's Andre. Yeah. Michael speaking. You heard you was looking for me. Was there somebody in there with him? Probably his partner that told him. Oh, okay. Find out who's on the other end of that phone. Yes, sir. He just look evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, funny shaped hair with it. And the evil rollback, you know. <laughs> Be down for anything, whatever they want to try. Yeah? Whatever it is, I'd rather deal with it now than when I'm on the street with AJ. Hear that? That's, that's facts right there. Oh, what's in the box? Nothing? Nothing. Yeah, I just got AJ back. Just got him back. You gonna pay Aisha? You gonna pay mm. my rent? Mm. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. fucking fool. Yeah. You lining me up, got me out here doing robberies mm. and shit for nothing. Mm. I mean, he can't be mad because he went to the spot and seen it too. That's why he agreed to it. He can't be mad at dude. Who is this? That them bad people? Yeah, that's what I'm oh, guessing. She put her whole name in there. They called you social worker. You'd be like, yeah. She put her whole name in there. Show a picture of her. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the oh, old family. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Woman. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she won't talk. That, that ain't good. Default ring. Mm. Uh oh. Where's she at? Somebody in Tucker? Mr. Johnson, I'm not here to cause any trouble. Your wife contacted me in regards to my fiance, so that's why I'm here. It's me texting from our phone. Oh, it's him. Oh. He sell you out. See? I start backing up towards the door, which. I didn't want to sit out to show because I don't want to get our whoops up too high. I know where them take Jasmine. Oh. Oh. Before I tell you, look, I beg your favor. Please, please, I need you to help bring me down. Oh. Mm. I beg your favor. I beg you. I swear Dawson was watching us from that window. <laughs> You're high, bro. Loud, man. Oh. You hear him, Sirens? Fuck, when is it dead end? Oh, and they're holding too, aren't they? Mm-hmm. He told y'all that he was holding. He said that. Yo, why didn't Taser take out the drugs and guns and walk away with it? Invisible. So it's not just Taser's stupid. His crew's stupid. That's wild. Taser, what were you doing, man? And they just followed direction. He told him, give me the guns. It's clean. And you know, guns in London is uh -huh. an he issue. Didn't, he didn't find, they didn't find none. Okay. They, they didn't find none. Oh, oh shit. Damn, they brought the dogs quick, didn't it? They brought they a brought whole They brought the wolf. drug dog. Uh, that's probably when the, the lady upstairs called him in. She's yep. like, yes, there's some black, black men out here in the car. I feel unsafe. Don't worry, Karen. We're on our way. Which is funny. You know, it's a big misconception that drug dogs bark. They don't bark. They, they don't. They find something. Yeah. Oh, Taser, you should have been took the guns and drugs, man. But that's that's his three main people. That's Screamer, Toosie, and I don't even know the, the mm. dude's name. The dude who was driving that was holding. Yeah. 
And his boy Tiny's in jail. Got I mean, guns in the hospital. And drugs. Yeah, you ain't seen the light for a minute. That's one of them people. Yep, one of them got oh. fireball dudes. Oh, he's strong right, too. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we can ready to get a superpower fight. There it's we like go. Logan and, and Wolverine and Sabretooth. Oh, we about to spend the budget. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, spend that oh. budget. Ooh, I know that had to hurt. Mm. Oh, yeah. Somebody powers oh. need to manifest a little bit more. Dang. Right for his super strength, he's getting his super ass handed to him. Whoa. You need to take more of them super, let's go to super school classes or something. Uh oh, hold on. Oh. So we done seen fire, we done seen lightning, and we done seen strength from the bad guys. And flying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They hit him. Furthermore, just give me Craig's number. What about his address? Someone must have it. Damn, that's a police knock. That? Nah, that ain't her. No, because she wasn't like that. Oh, okay. They knocking like the police. So that means any one of us can be taken next. Mm. Who's us? Well, everyone in the house yesterday with the yellow eyes. Mm. Who's the kid with the gun? Taser. Mm. That's dope. It's like an old western. You hear that music? Wait, mm. we need to see a tumbleweed grow. Uh oh. Yep. Got him. Mm. 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 Oh. You got the infrared, huh? What kind of power is that? He's got the goggles on. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like heat, whatever it is, infrared or heat. Drag your invisible ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, drag your punk ass all the way back to the car. Hey, he drug you easy too. Come on, Stabby McStabby. Oh, there we go. I was about to say. I know you stay with a blade on you. We say Stabby McStabby. <laughs> like him. He said, "Did you stab me in my ex?" Ah, uh, Lightning Man. What? Oh, oh! oh. Avengers United. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, they about to shut this episode down. I can feel it. It's too, it's getting too good. Ah, let's go. I knew it. It was getting too good. Mm -hmm. was if you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Getting too good. Ah, all right, let me make sure there's no post credit scenes. Um, now we're good on the post credit. Uh, listen, I know I said this before in the last episode, like there's not a lot of special effects in this show. Um, and I think it's, and I think they're doing a very smart way of going about it that you don't, you miss it a little bit, but you don't miss it to the point that it takes away because the drama between the individual people is, is good by itself. The dumb ideas, the mistakes, the moments of heroism, real human moments. It's really been amplified to a spot that you don't have to lean on the superpowers. That says a lot. You know, it's, it's, it's most times when you see any type of show like this, you have to lean on the special effects. You have to lean on the superpowers in order to push the story forward. This doesn't need that. Um, well, Rap Man has, like, honestly, this could just be, if you took away the superpowers, you're just talking about, you know, four individuals that are just having a hard time in, in London. I'd say there's an argument that I think Ratman can make this, make that an interesting tale. We're just adding, you know, the potential for superhero hijinks that just amps it up to a, to a whole other level. I think there's some brilliance in that. Um, it's one of those things that does make me want to check for Ratman's other projects because he doesn't have to use uh, the superhero trope as a crutch. 
I think that is what the brilliance is of the four episodes that we've seen, well, the five episodes that we've seen so far. How are you feeling about this episode and or the, the series as a whole? I don't know, like, um, you know, I wasn't too pleased with Rodney at first. I mean, I get him being apprehensive and I don't know you and he's a little bit more aloof than everybody else yeah. is. So I get why he didn't want to be involved. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like a you problem, my boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, I do like how once it touched him, because really that's the that's the human nature in just about everybody. Mm -hmm. I am not getting involved. This don't got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can explain your side or what's going on uh, for you, but that's about you. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. And to keep me and mine safe, yeah. I'm gonna stay clear of whatever kind of shit you got going on. That part. So once Spud got touched, mm. and I don't know if he knows that they was looking for him. Or just, you know what I'm saying, just a deal gone bad. And, you know, um, I think it's just, he probably believes just a deal gone bad and Spud got touched up. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But the fact that now he's had a change of heart because he knows it can reach out and, and touch anybody. Yeah. He got you know, and the for, them, for them to reach out and touch Spud. He's got to wonder, is this just a regular drug thing mm. or was he targeted? Because that's what Spud was the one talking about. Hey, stop using your powers in public. You can't be letting people see what you do because, you know, it'd be this corporation. Then the government get in charge. Like Spud was the the reason, the voice of reason. Spud actually act like he read some comic books. Like, yeah, I know what's coming up next, my boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I do like that uh, Rodney is involved now. I kind of hate in his backstory. Like, you know, I, I don't have zero love for his mama. Like, mm. you, you know, that young now, child. Mm. now on the flip side. Okay. Say more. From that picture in the house. Okay. I'm going to say that Rodney's sister is younger, maybe much younger than him. Right. Okay. Um, or the mom had a, a sister, you know, had him a half sister by someone else. You know, I don't know how the mom get out. Yeah. Uh, but that picture showed her new husband and two kids, which I'm assuming are his. Yeah. Um. So I, I don't know, like Rodney don't have any money. I don't. I don't know. It, it's one of those things. Is like if he was born to wherever his daddy is right okay. so we don't know the circumstances behind his dad no nah. but now you got this single mom a white mom with a you know mixed uh, a black child mm -hmm. running around and if he's got some anger issues about any of that type of stuff he's got some uh, built-in trauma okay he could have been out here wilding like wilding mm. and she made a choice um, now I'm not I'm just pointing it out because I'm not saying I understand it or condone it just pointing it out um, she made a choice to go with this new guy and you know new kids she didn't make with him his half brothers sisters because maybe there's some stability in that yeah we don't know what her choice is we don't yeah, we don't we don't know the why we don't know the why is. behind that choice right yeah 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 so and to have abandoned him um, because of her new husband or whatever. Well, we don't know when she abandoned him. Like the natural thought that comes to your head is she abandoned him as a kid and just, you know, jumped into a new family dynamic. Well, the the, the look, the, his sisters or brother or sister, the two younger kids look like they're about at least four or five. So I'm assuming at least, they're probably at least four or five years ago is what I'm guessing, right? You know, and, and yeah, Rod, but, Rodney looks like he's at least maybe what, 20 22 is around there. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. We don't know how old he yeah. is. So when all this went down, he could have still been a, you know, teenager. He might have yeah. been in high school when, you know, basically the mom had an ultimatum, pick yeah. between Greg and pick between Rodney or whatever. Or, um, you know, Rodney could have been a high schooler, you know what I'm saying, young adult or whatever, whenever this went down. And he could have been out here wilding out. Mm. He could have been, you know what I'm saying, because he, he gravitated towards the weed and he's definitely, you know, wherever to try to sell his weed. So he's around the worst of the worst. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, he's and, and then also he's probably self medicating, right? You know, you got to self medicate your mm -hmm. demons. That's where the weed is coming from. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. You know, it, I I do like what they're doing with that character. They're kind of fleshing it out. Let me let me ask you something, so we can change gears yeah. again. Uh, there's an interesting dynamic with 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 um, Taser and Tuzi and Scream and I forgot the other brother's name. Yeah, and, I don't know and, the other and Taser, Taser probably makes probably make I'm the probably the most decisions. aggravated out of him out of all the people. You know, I understand mm -hmm. he's a young man making young man decisions. You know, I understand he's a reluctant leader. He's got to lead this other group of you know each one trying to out dumb the other. But it's just it's just really <laughs> frustrating. Is right. Yeah, yeah, because it's just it just is what it is. They've just made some terrible decisions. Um, but. I did. I did have a moment of understanding. You know, you, you your family get touched. You know, there's there's kind of like what is it? Uh, there's honor amongst thieves, right? You know, honor, mm -hmm. honor amongst gangsters. Like, you know, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I love um, the Wire, and one of the things um, from Omar, one of my favorite characters, is you know, there's no 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 civilians. You know, and the game is the mm -hmm. game. You know, if you if you gonna take part in the game. And whatever yeah, happens the is, game is, the is, game. is is it is what it is. Doesn't matter what what the situation. If you old, mm -hmm. handicapped woman, whatever association you with, if you in the game, then it's game on. You in the game, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, you touching a, a civilian. Oh, mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. Nah, mamas, it's, 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 and not even just a regular civilian, but but somebody old too. Like you, you touching up yeah. of old women. You done broke my grandmama arm. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. So so Taser going crazy you off to that. Get touched up. I feel that. I can I can understand it. I don't condone violence. Let me be clear, because I know how some people get. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not condone violence. I'm just saying I understand I the anger behind Taser, and I, and I feel that. I get. I, I I totally get that. So you know, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Um, let me ask you about the drama that's going on with Sabrina and how you feeling about that. Well, and, and let's combine it because I, I you do a pretty good job of breaking stuff down. Talk talk to me about the drama that Sabrina is going through, and also. Talk to me about the drama that Audrey's going through. You know, the thing about Sabrina, um, Sabrina and Charlene really, for the most part, have it good. They got this house that they share together. And I don't know how people get it in uh, Great Britain, mm -hmm. um, but they seem like they're doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, like it's, 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 sort of it's, it's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, and I'm going to assume, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, Sabrina's a nurse, mm -hmm. so she makes pretty decent money. Mm -hmm. um, if I remember correctly, Sabrina, uh, not Sabrina, Charlene is in school. She's getting a PhD. Uh, really? Huh. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing, though. For Charlene to be getting a PhD, everything that they have shown in this show about her has been ratchet as hell. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, like right now, <laughs> right now, uh, uh, she gives off, uh, what is it? Charlene. Okay. So you saw that, uh, Sabrina's driving an Audi truck, right? All right. Charlene gives off Nissan Altima energy. Uh, you know I, mean? I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> like Charlene to be getting a PhD and live where she lived with her sister. Like, all I can see in my head is that she got on black Air Force One <laughs> and she's listening to Glorilla and Sexy Red in the car. Like, that's because that's the kind of decision she been making the whole show. And see the girls like, up? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, did you move my Sukiyana tape? Like, for real, like, <laughs> like, What's your you PhD just, in? Is, is, it, yeah. is it a player hater degree? Is, is yeah. that PhD? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Her PhD is something all smart. You know what I'm saying? I want to <laughs> uh, I want to understand the dichotomy of the ratchet nature of... Oh, girl. <laughs> what is you... Studying. I do all my research on BET. Like, stop it. Uh, uh, you know, so oh, I mean, man. she has continued to make bad decision after bad decision. And the one thing that I fault Charlene for, okay. I mean, I mean, you like who you like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, the 
And I guess a lot of women do it. You know what I'm saying? They like the bad boy. Mm-hmm. And they just are hard to keep running back to Craig, even though he didn't put your hand, his hands Which on you before yes. in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like last time when he tried to, he couldn't even get in the house. And Sabrina was, take your foot out of my house. Like, mm. no, nah, not here, my boy. Mm. So, you know, I could change Charlene, you. wait till she's at work <laughs> to go in there and throw it back on him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, and, I fought Charlene for as soon as Sabrina couldn't even get her good news out. Mm-mm. Girl, I didn't got a promotion. Like we about to live good. You won't go to the club tonight. I know I'm all messed gotcha. up with, you know, my eyes glow and <laughs> I got this, but you know, something good has finally happened. Mm-hmm. And the first thing, you know what I'm saying? Not in fact, you didn't have this dude up in Sabrina house, you know, uh, up in their house and now he didn't put his hands on you, took the little watch back that he gave you as a gift to get back in. Snatched it like no. new news chain. Give me my yeah. watch back. <laughs> yeah. And then she gonna run outside in her robe with a butcher knife, you know what I'm saying? Like after this dude and whoever else he had in the car. But the first thing she did was, you know your sister got powers. Yeah. You know what she can do. Mm. So she threw her entire problem off on Sabrina. I need you to come home right now and throw Craig's monkey ass into a wall. Come on. Mm, mm, How dare mm. he put his hands on me, girl? He choked me out. You know what your sister come home to do? Mm-hmm. Just like what any other protective sibling would do. Yep. Oh yeah. It's your be a bad choices. Yeah. Now, your sister then barely, and your sister then barely escaped from a murder once already. You see, she's a Girl Scout. She's Just turning her own ago. self in. Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple days ago, and you dragged her right back you into was, it. You was going to leave me? How dare you leave me? You was going to turn yourself in, and now you done thrown her into a situation mm, mm, mm. where she get killed or kill somebody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it uh, just mm. between her and uh, between her and, and, and Taser, yeah. like, you know, they neck and neck. And I expect more out of Charlene. You can't get away with doing dumb shit because you're fine. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, All you right. just be out here look, looking good and doing dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's, you know, let, let, let's change I ain't gears. got no dude, and no dude ain't got me. <laughs> curbing or curbing. <laughs> yeah, oh. glow. Ah. All right, so we go, we go, we go chase gears. I want, I want to talk about the the last hero, and it's interesting. Um, he, I'm biased. I'm a father. Let me first tell you, I'm biased. And I know Andre's making bad decisions. I know. I get it. Mm. Um, but I'm biased because I understand. Because, <laughs> you know, you're trying, you, 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 you're trying to make sure your little man's fair. You're trying to reestablish maybe what could have been a broken relationship with, with, with your son. You're going to do whatever it takes to either establish that to make sure they're safe. Um, so if it's if it's making a dumb decision to to break into a trap house to get some to get some funds, which I, I would figure something else out of, other than that. Um, but yeah, he's still not immune from from dumb decisions. Uh, how are you feeling about Dre and his powers and his relationship with the son and, and, and the, the why behind his actions? Here's the biggest problem to me. I know that Andre's back is against the wall. Mm. And when you cannot provide for your family... Lord knows it make you desperation make you do some dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but he seems positive that he's not going back to prison. And I guess robbing the trap house is not the same thing as accidentally breaking an ATM machine. So, you know, he wasn't worried about, you know, just like when he told a story that, you know, the unwritten code of the streets, he didn't say nothing mm-hmm. about his partner that got him sent to prison. You know, uh, his little dude he went to school with, you know, he know ain't nobody in the trap house telling. Uh, this big old geezer, he came through and he threw safes and he was doing everything. <laughs> and, you know, can the police come over here? We want you to come to the trap house because uh, he stole our dope and our money. Like, mm-hmm. ain't nobody telling. Ain't nobody telling. That just seemed like, but, you know, if they got a whole building mm. trap house like that, then you have to think they got a whole crew 
they probably got all kinds of weapons and you know uh, apparently he got super strength he ain't tested out nothing else we don't know if he's bulletproof we don't know if he's stabby proof like we don't know nothing and he don't know you are taking you know what i'm saying penitentiary chances my boy and it's just you know not even worse nick you are taking a uh, cemetery chances because all the thing we know right now is you strong we don't know nothing else that is it and and from when he lost that that job, he decided to come straight and be upfront, mm-hmm. and he didn't get that job. It has went downhill from there. But the biggest thing is, where is your son? It's been a couple of days. Is your boy supposed to be with you? Because you, you him? stood him up. <laughs> you stood him up when you were supposed to go to the movies with him. Mm. You don't know what your son has, you know, and he's a teenager. Teenagers are prone to make the worst decision yes. possible known to man. Yes. <laughs> you know, so your son is upset with you. You already knew that he wanted to get money. You didn't already seen him with the neighborhood trap boys. Mm. So I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And part of it could be, you know, that time that he was away from his son, that he was in prison, yeah. that he just not firing on all cylinders. And all he can think about is if I get me together, mm-hmm. then I can get him together. And what he doesn't understand is especially with teenagers, every moment is just that. It's fleeting. You know, the, the thing about teenagers, think about people in general. Mm-hmm. And I used to teach this to my students. You know, I would uh, write 10 problems on the board, right? Mm -hmm. Simple problems that anybody can get. The first one, I would mess up on purpose. And then the the next nine are perfect. Every kid in that class will raise their hand and to point out, hey, that was wrong. Like, how you the math teacher and you can't, you messed up that problem. That's simple. Like, there's 10 of them up there. Mm. All everyone did was point out the one that I messed up, the mistake, the bad choice that I made. Mm. They don't care that the next nine after it were perfect. Mm. They're going to go back and point out your mistakes. With most people, you have to measure interactions. And some people, just the way that they work, Mm -hmm. is in order for me to take to you positively uh, around a son who's now grown up for several years without his father. Mm -hmm. He is reestablishing his relationship with him. And I mean, he knows his dad or whatever, and they got a good relationship, but it's not the same as coming home to a little kid as coming home to a teenager. Mm -hmm. Every one of your interactions have to count. Mm -hmm. You have to have so many more positive interactions then you have negative interactions for anything that you're trying to do to work mm. and andre doesn't have enough positive interactions banked mm. you know what i'm saying like he don't have Keep enough talking. in the kitty mm-hmm. so that his son would be like you know what i'm not going to get in the car with them my dad told me about them and he would be upset he would be mad at me none of that none of that matters to aj Mm. you know he went over to his house i hear the tv Mm -hmm. i'm calling your phone it's ringing i know you're in there why won't you answer the door you ashamed of me Mm. you don't want to be with me right now Mm. you stood me up for no good reason screw you like you know what i'm saying you know you ain't changed you the jailbird dude or whatever he don't have enough positive interactions banked with his son Say for his son to know i i need to be here because my dad is trying to be here with me yeah um so he ran back to you know the the negative influences and it's not even about them being negative it's not like he was running the negative but these are the little dudes i see in the neighborhood mm-hmm. they got girls they got money Mm -hmm. they stay fly Mm -hmm. they seem to be the cool dudes whatever it is y'all doing i I want to do that i want to have nice clothes i want to have drip i want to have money i want to have the girls i want to have me a nice little bmw or something too like you know my dad's broke pockets turned inside out ain't Mm. lint in them jaws i listen whatever y'all talking about i'm with that yep yep 
you know it's um you know even even if um even to take it to a to a whole other level you know some people believe in karma i believe karma affects those that believe in it but if you are a believer in karma um you know he didn't technically rob the atm karma's gonna kick back you still taking what ain't what, what ain't yours you know i understand there's a trap house and bad people doing what they need doing what's in there but just because they doing bad don't mean you have to do bad karma come back kick kick you dead in your teeth karma karma's reason why you can't wake up <laughs> when, your, when your son yeah. calling he's right there yeah you know i think um right i think there. we we there's there's all kinds of um uh, what's the word i'm looking for uh, consequences for your actions you know and that energy that you give you you can get back um so i think i think he's he's getting plagued by that um i, I know we kind of been going long um actually i'm gonna save this one i was gonna ask i was gonna close out with mike but we've we've been going on for about another good 20 plus minutes um listen uh let's let's yeah let's let's close that out we are still uh excited about this show overall uh it's it's very well done and i want you all to head over to rakai's page you just got a very small snippet a, a, a tip of the iceberg of how the brother gets down and the reason why he had to be on the supercell uh reaction because the brother he just he he finds really dope ways to to bring real moments from the things that we watch um he calls them deep dives his page is filled with them and is filled with if you like the content that's on that's on my channel he has a lot of deep dives that coincide with that content so if you've enjoying like the, the shorter conversations that me and rakai have had and you want to really just get down to the bottom of the ocean his page is the place for that Rakai, tell the people they get in contact with you well thank you sir what a wonderful lead in um I have done a uh, deep dive for each episode of Supercell that we have done so far because I just, I see that so much of this show resonates with me and it uh, is reflecting on something. I mean, it's funny because today, the one thing about Andre, I feel for Andre. I hurt for Andre yeah. because I understand. <laughs> I know being on the struggle bus. I am currently the struggle bus owner the struggle bus driver <laughs> struggle bus mechanic i'm on that mug solid um and you know y'all could help me out go to the patreon y'all can you know i need more views right. more subscribers come on y'all can do it you can do it um i sent Sintel a little meme this morning because it you know it is it's just i'm too young to retire <laughs> um too poor to quit and too fat to strip so i gotta keep on working you know what i'm saying so that's where i'm at with it so i understand desperation and just out here doing some dumb stuff so i understand uh andre i understand rodney um when your back gets pushed against the wall you do the unimaginable the unthinkable um if you want to hear more of you know some of my solo deep dives and things that i have to talk about in this you can make your way over to the page and just an added bonus mm. um this is episode five of six so uh Sintel and i will be doing a live here very soon to talk about what do we anticipate is going to happen in the final uh, the finale of this season of Supercell. There's a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to talk about what could possibly happen. And then the, and if you have not made your way over to the discord, mm -hmm. listen, we are building a special, special community over there. Um, Supercell, uh, he's an interview with the vampire, mm -hmm. the boys, house of the dragon, uh, the acolyte, um, and of course, our Whovians, our Doctor Who people, and then so many other properties, movies that we watch and, and things like that. Yeah. Uh, you need to go over there because we're going to do something special. We, we want to get you involved. We want you to be with us in on this. Uh, maybe watch the finale with us. Yeah. We're talking about that. Yeah. And then we're going to do a live afterwards. So if you like my deep dives just with me, listen, my, my deep dives really come to life. Mine are short. 10 15 
20 minutes tops of me running my mouth by myself <laughs> as y'all can tell i can do but listen when it's a deep dive with me and this guy right here uh y'all are in for a treat and we're going to do a live after this season wraps up to go through all things supercell and maybe even compare it to other properties uh the mcu dc just the incredibles whatever you know so so just talk about it as a whole what it means to black british life how that translates to american black life like mm. all that yeah um all come see same. me youtube.com forward slash nuke from the ville n-u-p-e-f-r-o-m-d-a-v-i-l-l-e you gotta use this mm. But a whole lot of this, you gotta, you gotta use that too. Hey man, thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Check out the bear too. Hey, listen, we've got a lot of new subscribers coming over from Supercell, and it's, it's the numbers have been pretty staggering. Thank you all for showing so much love. And don't worry if you didn't get all of those links that were Kai said. There'll be a link in the description uh, to get to his page. There's a link in the description to get to the Discord, and uh, you've already seen the advertisement uh, for the Patreon. Thank you all so much for all the love and the support. I, I am very sincere with that when I say that because you all are making a big change in the direction uh, that the channel uh, is going based off of um, the response that we've been getting. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the live and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. All right, y'all. Take care. <laughs>